Well, hey guys. Um, so today I have fortunately a little bit of an opening in my work schedule because I have to take care of an unfortunate arduous task and that is going to the Department of Motor Vehicles and refreshing my driver's license. It's going to expire in a month and I have an out-of-state driver's license which uh, in reading the instructions online apparently I had 90 days to get my act together upon moving here. Uh, just between you and me and the lamppost I have definitely lived in uh, Houston greater than 90 days but um, I'm hoping they don't throw me in jail today. So best take care of that because if it expires and I'll have to take the driving test again so that is never anybody's desire. But um, I update on the um, that shampoo, the crazy shampoo. I really, it's the second one that I've tried from those little samples that I got, and I really love it. It has a similar scent to the cherry blossom one that I um, tried, and my hair does feel nice and soft this morning. Um, but uh, the the fragrance, like I said, smells sort of similar. It kind of has this like retro-y smell. I, I sort of like it. It's not overly fragranced, but it's just fragrancy enough. And you guys know that even though I don't like putting fragrance on my face, I love it in my shampoo. Um, so yeah. And I don't know, the mise -en snail serum last night, um, I, as far as I can tell guys, that's just another humectant, you know. Whether it's Hydro Boost or that, I mean, I, th I feel like Hydro Boost has a lot more bang for it than the Snail Serum. The Hydro Boost and the uh, Hotelabo Super Plump, the, the Hotelabo Super Plumping Gel Cream to me is really, really the most bang for your HA book. Um, but the Snail Secretion, um, I, it's not irritating. So, like I said, I'm going to use it intermittently so as to not let it go to waste. But anyways, that is what's going on, and if I make it through the DMV in a decent amount of time, I'm not expecting it to be expeditious in any manner. If you're, if you don't live in the U.S., I, I don't know what your uh, licensing and registration for operating a vehicle is like, but here, I, I pretty, I think everybody can agree that the Department of Motor Vehicles, no matter what state you live in. It, it, it's not a barrel of monkeys. It's not something that anybody wants to, uh, you know, do for a uh, guy's weekend and just go hang out at the DMV. It, it, it tends to just be a, a painful process. And, and the uh, applause to the staff they always seem to hire at DMVs, it's like they have a no-nonsense ability to them that is just, uh, you know, I don't know where they find these individuals. They're very, very uh, detail-oriented. I like that. Uh, but I mean, they're, they're, they're very to the T. And you, you have to be that way when, when you're enforcing rule-based metrics. And it takes a certain personality type. And uh, they, they find them. So that's what's going on, guys. But if I make it through that, I'm going to treat myself to lunch out today. Because I had to wake up really, really early to get enough work taken care of. So that this wouldn't be too much of my day. So I... Uh, Okay, I made it. Wish me luck. I really hope they, uh, they can make some allowances for my greater than 90 day delinquency. <laughs> Wish me luck. I may end up in jail today. Listening to my audio book is saving me. <laughs> yeah. This is keeping me normal glycemic right now. now serving you guys ever had these? 3,100. Nature's Garden. It's cranberries, unroasted, unsalted almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, pecans, and pistachios. This was a free sample at Costco. It's saving my life right now. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast this morning. But this audiobook I'm listening to, the mix, it's really good. But I to give you this little number. But it's not clear when exactly it will be called. And it's not in any logical order. I mean, L is obviously for license. 
He just called up a large bowl of people, so unfortunately I don't have to take the test or anything. Thank God. Now the are all right, so it's the noon hour, and I made it through the DMV, more or less unscathed, just robbed of time, but I'm here at this Pine Forest Vegetarian Restaurant. It's like an Asian veggie vegan restaurant that apparently doesn't use any MSG, which I like, so I'm going to check it out. Alright, so it's a very nice uh, like vegan vegetarian buffet and they have a ton of veggies and some fun stuff. I got like, of course, a bunch of steamed broccoli and cauliflower with mushrooms, it looks like. And, um, and this is a tofu dish here, I got a little sample of it. And then this is a veggie uh, little roll here that's got, looks like a slice of mango on top. And I got a little ginger. Some sort of steamed tofu and veggie <laughs> casserole, I don't know. And I think these are cucumber. And then here's the soup. Um, it's like a vegetable mushroom soup. Looks really good. So. I wanting to try this place sometimes, so it's my reward for toughing it out at the DMV. Alright, so I went back for round two, and surprisingly, the, um, the steamed tofu with the veggie sauce, while it doesn't like look appetizing, that thing is amazing. That's like actually one of the best things. Um, and I got a little more cauliflower, it comes with some sort of tofu, which um, I probably won't eat that, but uh, more cucumbers, some of the braised greens, some of this cold noodle salad, and then this is pan-fried daikon radish, so I thought I'd give that a try, but the soup was really good. Well, hey guys, I got back um, to work okay after my... DMV didn't take too long and I really enjoyed lunch at that place Pine Forest Vegetarian restaurant. I think the fav my favorite thing that I had there was the steamed tofu with veggie sauce Although it looked somewhat unsightly. No offense to the uh, To the chef. Uh, it was very very good. And then I also really liked the cucumbers. They were really interesting opinion. Um, but I just got back and fired up my Candlelight Company uh, Tahitian Coconut Colada candle that I got on the clearance bin from Kroger yesterday. That is $2 that I am not sad about being out of my wallet right now because I really, really like it for a fast food candle. As I mentioned yesterday, I refer to those Candlelight Companies as fast food candles because they just kind of get you through. They're like the drive through you know, when you're, when you're out of groceries and you don't feel like going to the, the store. So... Um, I got that at the clearance bin yesterday, if you missed yesterday's video, but it smells really good. just doesn't have quite the the room-to-room -room span that I would like, but um, I really like it. And um, <laughs> look what um, one of the uh, staff at work gave me. Isn't this cute? It's a little Japanese bobtail notepad. They know I like kind of Asian stuff, I guess. Um, I thought that was so cute. I had one of these cats, like in real life. Um, for my, my last pet, unfortunately, she passed away after a very long and healthy life. She passed away suddenly of sudden heart disease, which was very, very sudden and devastating. But on brighter news, I did uh, get a chance to stop in at the uh, H Mart on my way back from work, and I picked up a few little um, items. My um, I, oh, my cognac sponge, uh, I think I'm saying that right, review went up today, and from the comments that I've been able to see thus far, you guys seem to really enjoy it. But speaking of uh, <laughs> of that that route i swung into the asian grocery grocery store h mart and was able to get some more of my uh shirataki noodles and some other fun things so i'll show you guys what um kind of staples i got in the sea veg game because i'm getting low on my sea vegetables so. the yam they're called yam noodles at like in the asian grocery store but they're essentially the same thing i mean i don't they have zero calories and like i don't know they're just kind of like like f fluff, like filler. They don't really have much nutritional benefit, I guess, but I like the chewy taste of them. So I got um, this uh, Shira King, Shira, what's the brand? Shira, Shira Kiku? 
Shirakiku brand. I've had these before, they're pretty good. Um, and then I got a smaller bag here of the just plain flavor. I think these have like some little specks of of uh, seaweed powder in them, so those look good. And then I got some made with uh, the shirataki and carrot from Japan. These look delicious. I love the little cute uh, illust illustrative uh, instructions there. Um, these are some good recipe ideas on the back here. And then I also got some spinach ones of the konjac noodles, so stoked for that. Miracle Manan. And then you guys know I love my sea vegetables. So I picked up a bag of this uh, kombu dried seaweed slices. This kind of looks like shreds, so I'm kind of stoked for that. Um, I like having my seaweeds in a variety of forms. And then I also got another bag of these shreds here of uh, just dried seaweed, I guess. This is just another brand. Um, and then I really like this wakame dried seaweed. Um, I like it better than the hijiki one that I got. Um, so I picked up some more of that. And um, you guys know I love mushrooms. So uh, th this is entitled black fungus, but it's essentially some sort of dried shredded mushrooms. These look really good. I guess you just soak these and then you, know, you can cook them in broths and things. Um, so I'm excited to have that. And then I also got some organic dried goji berries. I'm, I really like these um, and they can be hard to find at an affordable price. These are USDA organic. And these were pretty inexpensive. And I like the little zippy packaging here. So, happy about that. And then, I'm really excited for these sauna face masks. I think I'm saying that right. These are um, some Japanese uh, sheet masks that I've been wanting to try out to see how they compare to the, um, the Momotani ones that I have that I really love because these, like the Momotani ones, have uh, no fragrance or anything irritating. They, um, really not much, just some emollients. And this seems very soothing and gentle. So this pack, I believe, contains five sheet masks for 12 bucks. I didn't think that was too bad for uh, benign appearing sheet masks. So I'm happy to try those out for you guys. I think some of you were asking about these, so. So yeah, that's everything that I got from uh, the uh, from H Mart, and I'm gonna put that stuff away and head to the gym, and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower, and a little, I guess, shower update. I'm just about finished with this product that I haven't really mentioned much about, but I do enjoy and have been using um, is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream. Um, I've been using this to my legs and my body in the shower, like once the shower's done and I turn the water off and I'm still in there. I put this on wet skin. That's how I moisturize my, my body, period. Um, and I kind of alternate different moisturizers. And I've really been enjoying this one. I really enjoyed the Aveeno Eczema Balms as well. Um, what I like about both products for me is that they don't leave that sticky residue. And, um, you know, they're pretty nice. I don't, they're not as good, however, as the CeraVe moisturizing cream, um, but they're pretty nice, and I've just been using this one because I have it and, you know, want to make my way through it, and I'm also rationing the uh, Skin Food Intensive Shea Butter because I, as far as I know, this no longer exists. There's a quinoa formulation of this, but I really love this one because it has ceramides in it, and it's just like very luxurious and nice. It does have fragrance in it, but, um, you know, it also has uh, shea butter, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, like cocoa butter almost. It's really nice. I really like this one a lot. It's kind of like cocoa butter with ceramides in it, is how I would describe it. And it also has oat extract in it, which oatmeal can be soothing for, for itchy, dry skin. And um, so I like that. Um, this Aveeno eczema does have ceramides in it, um, but I don't think it's as good as, um, it's just not as thick and, and moisturizing as the CeraVe uh, body cream. Um, body moisturizer wise from the Korean uh, skincare stuff, I'm really loving this one. Um, and then as far as the cruelty free ones, the Borage one is pretty good that I, I've mentioned before. So if you missed my cruelty free favorites video, be sure and check that.
that out. But yeah, I kind of wanted to recap some body moisturizers, some drugstore ones that I'm using and um, my thoughts on those. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>